I am here with the JC Arts High School Alumni Association standing right behind me. I'm happy to say I'm a 06 graduate of the JC Arts program. Shakima Scott to my right is a 06 graduate of the JC Arts program. Jerome, a 06 graduate. And uh oh. 09. 09 graduate. And that program has changed our lives and made it possible to do what we do. I'm happy to say that the three of us just graduated from Montclair State University. Just had a I have a BA in theater studies. Shakima Scott has a BA in broadcasting. Jerome has a BFA in theater studies with a concentration in acting. And Shaychelle is right now enrolled in Montclair State University. She's a theater student with a concentration in acting. And this program is probably one of the reasons why we are able to be up here today and be graduates from a, a great, great college, university, I should say, that was ranked in Forbes, Mont Forbes magazine as one of um, New Jersey's top public universities. Zuleika Bonilla, who stood up there before she was, wanted to study Egyptology, <laughs> she sat beside me in my theater class in BPA or in Jersey City Arts High School. And we are just so worried at the new movement that's happening or about to happen this coming September. It's not even the fact that it's going to Snyder, and we know that Snyder's an unsafe place. We are more concerned with the space that is given to the students now. They are going to be on the fourth floor, I believe, third, third floor, in small, small, tiny rooms. Um, that won't even be completely theirs. I believe they are sharing the floor with the rest of Snyder. Um, the Snyder store is still up there, I believe. The computer labs and the home ec classes. So they have to share this, these small rooms and this small floor with the rest of Snyder High School. I know that um, University Charter High School um, is backing out of their partnership with the Jer Jersey City Arts High School because they don't want to send their kids to Snyder. They say the reason that their kids come to them is because they don't want to go to Snyder. So now, kids, um, the young lady who sung so beautifully earlier, who attends University Charter High School, probably won't get the chance to go back to um, Jersey City Arts High School next year because of her homeschool. Um, over the years, JC Arts program has earned a total of $20 million in scholarship for students to go to college and graduate with degrees and go on to do bigger and better things. Trust me, us standing right here, we are going on to do bigger and better things. That program told, taught us that this was just a stepping stone. There are so much more in this world for us to achieve and get and earn and grab. And we plan on using all these possibilities and all these things that we learned to go out and do this. And we are just so concerned that these upcoming students won't get these chances and these opportunities to go on and do that. And we hope that there's a better solution to sending them to the third floor of Snyder, because it feels like they're being punished. Um, this program started in the 80s, I believe, at Ferris High School, and I believe it didn't work there because they had to share their facilities with Ferris High School. And if it didn't work then, it's probably not going to work now. And this program means a lot to these kids coming from inner city homes and having nothing probably to look forward to. Because I know the theater got us out of where we were. And all we want is the best for these students. Because we, we were given the best. We traveled to London, Rome, some of these places that a lot of students probably won't get a chance to go to. And as you saw tonight, the arts is still thriving in Jersey City, and kids still want to do the arts. And if you put them in Snyder, they might not get the chance to do that. So all I'm asking, all we are asking for is a, a different solution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To the chair, Ms. Sigler. I would just like to add that the Jersey City Arts High School program is a program of the Jersey City Public School System. I would suggest that, you know, if you're really interested, you might want to go and look at Snyder because I, I went the next day after our last board meeting. So I think that there's some really pretty nice space for this children. And I also think that people should just 
give some things a chance to see how it works. You know, the same teachers will be there, the same supervisors, the same program. It is a program of the Jersey City Public Schools, not University Expo. So I, you know, I, I'm not going to debate it, but I just uh, sometimes we have to have a little more of an open mind, you know, and see what's going on. It's a pretty nice, clean floor because I went there the next day just to personally say. So I think they'll do just fine. Can I just say that I went on a tour with you, Dr. Epps, and we did tour the school, and I'm not saying it's not a clean place, but to be a theater artist, because that's who we are, artists, we need more than a small, small room to perform. You can't just put kids in a little tiny room. When you're an artist and you're doing these exercises, these movement exercises and monologues and all these voice Okay, the chair. Every last one of you have, we have a bachelor's in theater and all that, etc. Yes. I need every one of you to come back, be a part of that program, be a part as a teacher or assistant, and, 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 and encourage those students. You have a degree in it now. Come back through the program and help us. That'll be the best thing that you could do to support those kids at Snyder High School. Thank you. That's Thank what we're you. here for. Thank you.